going on. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the new update Wretched Gorge. I'm Dylan Does Games and Stuff, a Castle Clash YouTuber. So go and check my channel out for daily videos and Castle Clash giveaways. But let's go over Wretched Gorge and how to get it. First of all, you'll find a little icon just like that. Like Storm Mesa, uh, it'll be set out exactly like Storm Mesa with four different floating islands named Wretched Gorge 1, 2, 3, and 4. Wretched Gorge 1 requires 20,000 minimum might. Wretch Gorge 2 requires 40,000, 3 requires 60,000, and 4 requires 100,000 might. Okay, so once you've kind of got your might sorted, a minimum of 20,000, you can kind of build your base. So when you first come in, you'll see the little form team icon. This is the current base which I'm using, and it's also the best base. There are three layouts which you can use, um, number one, number two, and number three, and it'll be a 10 by 10 little island grid. So you hit that little building icon on the bottom right, and um, what you can do from there is upgrade your uh, icons. There's five things you can use, five assets to use to build your base. Um, wall i have upgraded you can see use honor badges you can only upgrade one thing at once wall doesn't take any time but once i've upgraded these hero bases i cannot go ahead and upgrade um you guys can see this tower for example i can't upgrade that so once you kind of get everything sorted uh, you literally tap on the icon you want to place it down on the base and then you can further drag it so the best strategy we're using is this one here um, it's nice because it's got a little path coming and I'll explain exactly how to make it and where to position your heroes in the correct places even if you don't have these heroes you can still make it um, to a decent level so there's three d three um, base land designs which you can scroll through at the top uh, whichever one you want to use as your default is the one that will appear when you go into the wretch gorge preferably with a guild um, i'll explain why so once you got in you want to place your six hero bases down um, and any corner prefer i would use the top corner because it's nice and easy you know what you're doing so you want to place three in a little v shaped an upside down v um, like that and then one in the center and this has a nice little corner effect from there on you want to hit the wall icon and just keep hitting that wall icon, spam the wall icon down until you have filled the entire map with walls. So they'll just be hero bases in the corner and then walls. Um, so let's just go ahead and do this quickly. Once we have done that, we can move on. I'll talk about the, what rewards you can receive, what it's like, some actual gameplay of me going in to the Wretch Gorge. So once you've done that, you want to click on the center, the little split in the middle, and remove those walls, making a little crease, a little path going directly into the center. So it's kind of like a Herbie Monsters base design setup. Um, a little island. From there on, the hero you want at the front kind of needs to be a tanking hero such as destroyer and um, why i'm using destroyer he has got a life drain on his skill anyway he's a great hero he's got a firefight berserk as a talent and he's just a great tank overall so someone like orcs being destroyer paladin at the back you want your important heroes such as pumpkin you another melee hero so the back needs to be the hero which you need to to keep alive um the sides well the far sides you want ranged heroes because they attack over the walls rather than running and jumping over so you kind of want two ranged heroes heroes which are self-sufficient such as vlad and um druid druid and pixie or druid and another flying hero of your choice and then next to pumpkin nuke in between those you want you can have two melee heroes two floating heroes up to you entirely i'm going to choose cupid and um I'm going to choose Santa Boom for now because those two heroes are good additional heroes to have on your base. You could you could use Orcsbane, Multanica. It's just my Santa's kind of a decent level, decent skill overall um, to have. So that's just cool. Um, yes, yeah, so make sure ranged heroes on the outside. Pumpkin, you strong here on the back and that is pretty much it how to make that little setup you can place anything down you could place five towers down if you wanted to just cover the map with towers cover the map with any towers you want or you could even cover it just spam it with wall and only have wall i guess um but definitely you need to have a strategy going like this one this is a great strategy make sure you, all your guild members create it so you can be in um sync with each other and all go in with the same base so once you have done that, um, you want to go and find a specific uh, wave and we're going to start off with Wretch Gorge 2 and then we'll go on to Wretch Gorge 1 and show you guys what you can receive, what rewards you can get. This is what the layout looks like. Wretch Gorge 2 is kind of like a 4x2 um, 
layout where you can click, you can rotate your positioning, and you kind of want to have a square, that's where you kind of want to start at. But anyway, after that we'll go ahead and talk about the rewards, after you kind of got your grasp together with this section. If you're in a guild, go and grab some people, explain to them what you need to do. But this reward, you can see I've got a Wretched Gorge box, and you can receive these from all of the Wretched Gorge, um, Wretched boxes from Wretched Gorge 1, 2, 3, and 4. The rewards you can receive from these Wretched boxes, such as Elite Hero Cards, Legendary Hero Cards, um, Blue Crystals, Red Crystals, they just randomly grant a reward to you. Um, the next reward you can receive on Wretched Gorge 1 is a Wretch Box, Red Crystal Bag Large, Blue Crystal Bag Large, and Elite Hero Card. Wretch Gorge 2 can give you two, no, one Wretch Box, Red Crystal Bag Large times two, two Blue Crystal Bag Larges, and one Elite Hero Card. Wretch Gorge 3 can give you two Wretch Boxes, a Red Crystal Box Small, one of those, a Blue Crystal Box Small, and a Legendary Hero Card. Wretch Gorge 4 can also give you a Legendary Hero Card, as well as three Blue Crystal Box Small, three red crystal box small and two wretched boxes so those rewards are some pretty nice rewards you can get two legendary hero cards from wretched gorge three and four as well as wretched gorge one and two gives you some nice boxes which can give you crests it's giving you some random rewards um which is really really nice overall so definitely the rewards can be very handsome if you clear the wretch gorge successfully but now let's okay go guys so to... getting into the wretch gorge 2 now uh, this is the strategy you want to use you need to make sure everyone kind of has the similar design with those paths coming inwards you want to make sure you rotate so all your heroes are in the center together and these are kind of the enemies you'll expect to face you can see the thunder good waves these waves are not in tandem so they they are for example they're not in specific allocated waves it doesn't say wave one wave two they'll just churn out all at once. You have three minutes to complete the entire Wretch Gorge, just like a Storm Mesa or a Hyobi Monsters run. And these are some of the enemies you'll expect it to face. For Wretch Gorge 2, I recommend this corner setup um, as it works great, and also, of course, this base setup. So, you want your heroes to gather in the center. Please do not segregate your heroes, as that means they will be in trouble. Um, you guys can see that it's, there's some bosses coming soon. The Lost Realm boss is the final big boss of the game, um, of the little mode. There'll also be uh, two of the usual bosses that you would kind of see in a Human Monsters Challenge 2. You can see there's the big Lost Realm boss. He has a shield going around him, which I think deflects damage um, off him. He does. He's very effective. You can see he's got a lot of damage. Look at him when he hits uh, our targets. He, when he hits them, he wipes them out. You can see some of my guys are just killing themselves here. But he's quite easy to kill, especially when you have a lot of people together. And the kind of rewards you would expect to get, um, we're just going to go and take out the final Centaur Chief. Um, he's pretty straightforward. Make sure you need to have at least three pumpkin nukes to do Wretch Gorge 2, 3, and 4 upwards. For number one, I would say around two pumpkin nukes. But three pumpkin nukes need to make sure because that will ensure their survival the more than the better chance. Um, so you can see, once we go ahead and beat this, the kind of reward you expect to get um, are from this. Well, I've already talked about what rewards you can get, but let's have a look at what rewards I got here. So there's some blue crystal bags. I got the Wretch box and so on there's some red crystal bags also um but let's go ahead and get into wretch gorge one so this is pretty much the same it's a different layout uh but the se center is probably the best to go as it's nice and dead on in the center of the map again the same strategy works fine for wretch gorge one and two wretch gorge three and four might require a different strategy but for the time being i would stick with wretch gorge two until your guild mate um until a new strategy comes up um, but you guys can see the the enemies on Wretch Gorge 1 are definitely for the lower, um, more unexperienced players with heroes who, which are not as great as the experienced players because they're level 120 heroes, they're more matched, there's some ordinaries, some elites, there's a nice mix of heroes. They do churn up pretty quickly and those dinosaurs, purple dinosaurs, are definitely quite um, a challenge to beat, especially on Wretch Gorge 2, but overall it's nothing too complicated. Uh, which you cannot achieve with teamwork and as part of a group. Remember guys, going in randomly, you might come across a good team like in Storm Mesa, or you might be stuck there for a while trying to find a good team. So I recommend finding yourself a decent guild, getting everyone on top, maybe using a, ch um, a chat application such as Link, organizing your bases, know who's doing what, and I will see you soon. Remember to subscribe to Dylan Does Games and stuff for more Cast Clutch videos. This was a strategy.